Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math. And we have another, well, number puzzle for you, or a box puzzle, if you will. We have nine boxes here, and we have some operations that go along to equal certain numbers. We want to fill in our missing boxes with numbers just one through nine, and no number can repeat. Okay? So we have a blank, just so you can see, a blank number, we don't know, times another one minus another number equals 70, and we can't repeat those numbers. And there's all these different operations going on. Okay? So pause this video, see if you can solve this problem here. But as always, I'm going to show you my thought process and how I solved this problem. All right. Well, we know our numbers here are just 1 through 9. So let's go write them down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We got all of our numbers here kind of over to the right. Well, got them there. All right, so as we're going through, we're going to cross off once we've confirmed that a number is placed. Now, when I'm looking at this, I'm looking and I see a 70 is, well, really the largest number by far. So I want to figure out how I can get 70, okay? Uh, especially if there's like division, that's me like almost impossible. But multiplication, we can get there pretty close. I know a 9 times an 8 is equal to that 72, right? And then a minus a 2, and I get a 70, okay? So that kind of works here with multiplication, subtraction. So pretty confident that these are nines and eights here, so I'm gonna go with that. But I don't know which one, or it can be eight times nine or nine times eight. So I'm gonna make a little note here, nine, eight, and nine, eight, right there. But I'm pretty confident that two is at the end. All right, let's go down our first column here. We wanna to get to a three. So let's start with the nine. We have nine divided by a number, can we figure that out? times another number gives me a three, okay? And actually, we know two is gone, and we know nine or eights, so let's say, are gone here too. We just don't know which one they're in. Well, nine divided by a three gives me a three. That's available times one gives me a three. So we have nine cross off and three, so that's a nine. This one must be the eight. How can I get to 14 with what's, well, left here? 8 divided by something times another gives me 14. 14 I'm seeing is 2 times 7. 8 divided by 4 gives me a 2. So if I put a 4 here, 8 divided by 4 gives me a 2 times a 7 gives me 14. Got that. All right, so now we just have fives and sixes left over. Uh, let's go across the line here. This is, looks pretty easy. 3 plus a 4 gives me a 7. Plus, what other number it gives me a 13, and that's going to be a 6, right? 7 plus 6 is 13. And then our last one here, this is tricky, 7 times a 5, order of operations, 5 is left over. 7 times a 5 is 35, plus 1 is 36. And there we have it. We filled in all the boxes with numbers 1 through 9. Let's cross off the last one here. And we got them all equal. Is this how you solve it? I'm sure there's many ways to solve it. Which ones you go first? How did you approach this problem? Let me know down in the comment section below. Please like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these fun math videos for you and for everyone else. So as always here, thanks for watching.